Hello everyone, I'm Leafy the Hunter, and I'm here to give you the tips and tricks you'll need to be a successful hunter in Classic WoW. Now you might be asking yourself, why should you trust me? Well, I've been playing a Dwarf Hunter since Vanilla. All the way up to BFA, except for that time I played a Titan's Rip Fury Warrior in Cataclysm. No one said Cataclysm was good. But as you can see from my titles and my pet, I know a little something about how to be a hunter. Now with Classic rapidly approaching, I wanted to make a 10 video series on how to play, quest, EVP, and rage your way to greatness, just like me, because I'm the best. So now let's get down to it. Hunters. What is a hunter? Webster's Dictionary defines a hunter as someone who hunts game. That's not really relevant, is it? A more reliable source, Wowpedia, defines a hunter as a damage-dealing class capable of doing ranged or melee combat. And that's as true today as it was back in Vanilla. Now as a hunter you can do ranged or you can do melee damage. And don't let anyone tell you melee hunter isn't a thing. You'll also get an animal companion that can DPS, tank, or do other things alongside you. Now some pets are better than others because of attack speed, things that make them unique to the game files. But let's be real. You're going to come out here level 10. You're going to tame something you think looks cool, like this snow tracker wolf. Or this boar and you're going to keep it to your level 60. That way when you bring a girl home, you can boot up Classic WoW, you can show her the pet that you've had since you were level 10, because women love that special bond you have with your pixel pet. Remember, there's nothing women find more attractive than your commitment to a virtual animal. Like a Tamagotchi, and just like a Tamagotchi, you have to feed your pet and keep it happy or it will abandon you. Just like that girlfriend you're trying to impress with your elite hunter deeps. You have to feed her and keep her happy or she will leave you. Uh, please, um, please give me another chance. I'm, I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. Please, just, please come back. I miss you. Okay, call me back when you get this message. <clears throat> now, as a hunter, you'll have several abilities to use. Some of which you'll be using all the time, like your damaging abilities, and others which you may never use at all, like Eyes of the Beast. Your abilities cost mana, and you'll go through it a lot faster than you think you will, so make sure you spam the crap out of the highest rank of everything, and drain that mana. A full mana bar means you're not DPSing hard enough. Your role is always going to be damage, because you can't heal, and your pet holds less aggro than a feral druid in resto gear. Now you can also CC by trapping or kiting mobs. But let's be real, no one's going to trust you to effectively trap or kite anything. On the off chance that someone does ask you to, and you're not sure you can, well, tell them you didn't train traps because you don't like the survival tree, then give them a big thumbs up, and start pulling mob after mob before they can even think to replace you with something more useful to the group like a mage. Now that I've sold you on the idea of being a hunter, the first real choice you're going to have to make is what race you want to be. Now you're not edgy enough or cool enough to be whore. So Orc, Torin, and Troll, these options are now gone to you. You're left with Dwarf or Night Elf. Now you're not going to pick Night Elf because Night Elves are noobs and Dwarves are Chad. So congratulations on your new Dwarf Hunter. Now for the record, I should mention the racial bonuses that each race gets and how it affects being a hunter. Dwarves get Stone Form, which is Beast Mode in PvP because it's basically telling rogues they are useless and you can laugh at them as they cry. 
You also get 1% crit when you use guns, and that's basically all you'll ever need. Night Elves get stealth, which is annoying because you can't move, so like, what's the point in having it? Orcs get command, which increases pet damage by 5%, so if you really want to play Beastmaster, be an orc I guess. They also get Blood Fury, which gives you extra attack power on use, but then like, you have to be Horde. Trolls get 1% crit with foes, and Berserking, which increases attack speed. But do you really want to be a troll? And last, and certainly least, Torin. As a Torin, you get a tiny stun, but you have to be basically on top of someone to use it. And at that close range, you might as well get your melee weapons out, because you're not a Chad Dwarf with stone form to get away from that rogue you just stunned. Now that you've made your Dwarf Hunter and entered the starting zone, You'll notice that you have Raptor Strike, which is your primary melee ability, and ranged auto attack. Leveling as a hunter is pretty easy, and you'll find this out, because by having ranged auto attack, all you need to do is run around and just auto attack the mobs. Now if you pick a high pop server, everyone will be rushing to these mobs, so all you need to do is target the mob, tag it before anyone else, and then you're moving on to the next one while everyone else kills the mob that you just tagged, doing effectively all the work for you. Now will this hurt your reputation on the server? Uh, probably, you'll be looked at like a huge asshole. But by the time you're level 60 and you want to raid, no one's going to remember what happened in Cold Ridge Valley, because what happened in Cold Ridge Valley stays in Cold Ridge Valley. And once you get to level 10 and you get a pet, things will seem like they got even easier. We have to remember, Hunter Pets of Vanilla are worse at holding fret than Prop Paladins, and that's saying something. So don't expect the pet to do much tanking for you. You'll need to get good at kiting. Practice as you level, and it will come in handy later. Have a group quest to kill an elite, but you're a hunter and your anxiety prevents you from grouping for it? No problem! Just kite the mob to the nearest town and get other people, or the guards, to kill it for you. The key? is to kite the mob as close to the quest giver as possible for instant turn-in and faster leveling. As you level, you're going to get new abilities, but unlike retail, you're going to need to locate a class trainer, and you're going to need to pay him to teach you those abilities. Train everything, even the stuff that seems completely useless to you at the time. Is it expensive? You bet your ass it's expensive, but you're a hunter, and not training useless abilities and wasting your hard-earned silver and copper is beneath you. Also, don't forget to train and use your hunter tracking. This will give you a huge advantage in locating quest mob respawns on your mini-map. Everyone who's not a Chad hunter will be looking around with their eyes. You'll be looking around with your mini-map, and this will give you a huge advantage in getting to and tagging those mobs before anybody else. Now you might be asking yourself, do I quest, or do I do dungeons level 60? I'd say do both, but also do some PvP. And hell, you're a hunter, farm some rare crap while you level. I leveled from 24 to 32 farming the Crimson Whelpling pet in the wetlands, and doing some PvP in between farming sessions. It really helped me to not run out of quests for at least two more levels after that. Dungeons are also a good way to meet the people on your server and network. But just in case you don't do well in dungeons, by leaving your pet taunt on, or pulling everything in sight, or need rolling that spirit ring because it had plus 1% crit on it, and then everyone calls you a ninja looter even though all gear is hunter gear, uh, maybe you just want to stick to lower level dungeons. That way when you get to the higher levels, no one remembers your name. Well that's all for episode 1 of the Classic Hunter's Guide. If you liked this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next episode where we'll talk about Hunter Specs and DPS. I'm Leafy, the literal god of hunters, number one, the best baby. Be good out there, hunters, and remember to feed your pets.